Hey guys, it's Amanda and today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial that was requested a little bit ago. Um, it wasn't requested for these colors or anything, but it was a makeup tutorial using only um, the sponge tip applicators that come with eyeshadows because, um, you know, I do realize a lot of people don't have brushes. Um, and you don't really need brushes to blend. You can use your finger and you can use those brushes, but sometimes it's just really easier to use brushes. But I'll show you everything I'm using is with a sponge tip applicator or my finger. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, this is the look oh, that I'm doing. Um, this is a really pretty look. Like It looked really good on brown eyes. Um, I don't tend to wear... Um, blue just because of my eye color um, and also this would be a really I mean I would wear this normal um, on a normal day but this would be a really nice going out makeup look like if you're going to a club or something it's really really fun so the first color that we're using the only thing that isn't drugstore today is this is from Lancome it's a metallic and the color personal style but you just need a really light baby blue color and we're gonna use this for the inner corner of our eyes and I'm just using a normal sponge tip applicator like that. Take this and we're going to line the inner corner um, and I already primed my eyes with Har um, Urban Decay Primer Potion and NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil on Milk. So we're going to go ahead and on the inner corner of your eye and you're going to bring it in a little bit And you're going to also bring it down a little bit, but not too much. And this color is just so beautiful. So it looks like that. And then the next color that you'll be using, and this is from Rimmel London. Um, it's a single eyeshadow and posh, posh peacock. And on the other side of this sponge tip applicator, I'm just going to put some color on that and we're going to put it now don't go above the crease but just on the lid we're going to take it the rest of the way and as you go you can kind of blend these together but you're mainly going to use your finger for that but even with a sponge tip applicator you can still do that like you can still blend it um So just so it looks like that. And I want it a little bit darker. So I'm going to go back in with a little bit more color. And if you don't have this eyeshadow color exact in Posh Pe Peacock, um, like just a really nice medium blue tone um, would be good. Or if you want it a little bit of a brighter blue, that would be good also. The next color that we're going to go in with, and we're going to do this on the outer V, we're going to be using, this is from Maybelline, in Silver Lining, this really pretty silver shimmery color. And we're just going to use the sponge tip applicator that came with it. And we're going to go like halfway in on the crease and then bring it down the rest of the way. So that just adds a little bit of a shimmer and I want my gray to be a little bit darker so I'm just going to put a little bit more color into it. Okay. And then on the next side of that sponge tip applicator we're going to be using this white sparkly color from Jessie's Girl. You can get this at Rite Aid. Um, I'm not sure what color it is, but it's just a really sparkly white color. And on the other side of that sponge tip applicator, we're going to put some color on that off the lid. And just very thinly on the outer V, uh, not the whole thing like you did with the silver, you're going to put a little bit of this, just add a little bit of shimmer. But not a lot. Because that gray color was pretty shimmery as it was. And then we're going to take this Revlon matte color in Rivera Blue, a really, really super dark blue color. And then on the 
um, rest of your crease, you're going to put this really dark blue color. We're going to put that in here in the crease. And just a little bit, because if you're using this specific color, it's really, really dark. So all you really need is a little bit, and then you're going to go in with your finger, and you're just going to smooth out those harsh lines. So then it looks like that. And then you can wear... Um, you know, this would be the end if you were just going to wear this for a day, you would just add a little bit of mascara, but if you wanted to do it for a night, um, and you know, you could still do this for a night, but if you wanted to pop it up a little bit, I would suggest putting a little bit of sparkle on the, um, upper lash line. And I'm going to be using, um, my next glitter cream palette and I'm going to use this blue right here. And these also come with sponge tip applicators, so... I'm going to show you this this side that I already did doesn't have any glitter so I'm going to do some glitter on this side so you can see how um, it would look either way. But you're going to put some glitter on that brush and just on the lower lash line just put a little bit on. doesn't have to be a lot. Just so, and so you can barely see it, but it's really pretty and just adds like something to it. And then the final steps will be curling your eyelashes and applying mascara. I always see, because on the computer it's opposite, so I always go for like the opposite eye. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to curl that real quick. One, And then the mascara that I'll be using, this is from Hard Candy. It's ginormous lash mascara infused with girth serum. And take that and just put it on the upper and lower lashes. And if you're doing this and if you um, want to wear some fake eyelashes, that would also look very appropriate. Um, but I'm really not into the whole fake eyelash thing, so I'm not going to waste putting any of them on. So that is the look. You can wear this for night and day. You can wear this with really any eye color, but I prefer um, with brown eyes. It's really pretty. This is the eye that has a little bit of sparkle. So if you wanted to add a little tiny bit of sparkle for night, that would be really, really nice. And if you just wanted to do it normal for day, that's how it looks. Um, it's really simple and it's a really nice blue color. And I'm really liking this because I don't really like blues on my eyes. But the more I'm looking at it, I really like it. Um, so this is my sponge tip applicator review on Mini J Mickey. Uh, I think that's who she always makes so many requests and I really, really appreciate it. She requested this because a lot of people don't have brushes. So there's that. I hope you guys like it. If, um, if you want to buy brushes and you don't, I would really suggest buying some e.l.f. brushes, um, but not like their normal brushes, like buy their studio line. They're only $3. Um, but I really like them and they are really cheap and if you could only afford to buy one brush I would really suggest buying a fluffy brush um, which is a blending brush because it's okay to do it with your fingers but sometimes it's just really nice to have a fluffy brush to um, go in there and do that so thank you everybody for watching please comment to let me know what you think of this look um, and if you have any requests for any videos please let me know um, I'm really looking for some new ideas that I can do so thank you guys have a wonderful day bye